Hi, I'm here today with Karel Kotka, CEO and founder of Verif, to talk about how Verif was born. So, Karel, you started Verif in 2015, but you stumbled upon identity fraud much earlier than that. So, what's the story? What's the genesis of Verif? You're right, Patrick. Yeah, I definitely, I stumbled upon the problem way earlier than 2015 when Verif was born. Actually, I'm a I'm country boy on my own and grew up on a farm on a small island where being on the internet was nearly the only way to be in touch with the outside world as well. But I remember very well the time when we had to collect hay for the winter and all those big hay bales were tied together with a blue plastic string. Where my job was to collect it and in order to get rid of this plastic waste I started to search for alternatives. So yeah, I found a biodegradable hay bolt vine on eBay. Basically something that cows could even eat if they want to. But the only payment option was to use uh, PayPal. So I set up an account, uploaded a copy of my ID, but in a couple of days I got the response that I'm not allowed to use this service because I'm not 18 years old. At that time, without thinking twice, I changed my date of birth on the same document from 1994 into 1984 and my order got confirmed. All those similar issues were still present back in 2015 and we took as a goal to make identity online in a more secure manner as it was done before and take a step ahead of making online identity verification even more secure than physical face-to-face -face authentication. Awesome! It's a fascinating story of how a company can be born in the modern day and thank you for taking the time to share it with me. Good luck to you! <laughs> Good luck to us! Yeah, I mean, exactly! Thank you! Thanks, Carl.